here at Hessens County, in the last week of July, we got not just one, not just two, but three different TTRPG products. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of those in this video. Hello everybody and thank you all for joining me again here today again on Hessens County for another TTRPG talk. Uh, this video series takes a look at tabletop role-playing games and related materials, makes suggestions for your own games, and takes a look at some of my own materials. Now, why don't we go ahead and start with this one. Uh, so this is basically kind of going to be kind of like an unboxing. Uh, this is the details of our escape. Here is the actual uh, manual itself still inside the bag. And here is... Uh, our title, but this is not the manual. Instead, actually, in here, we have something interesting. Because as we open up the package in here, we have dominoes, paper dominoes. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the game before we hop into. The details of our escape was written by Tyler Crumneen as a part of their uh, Possible Worlds Games label. Uh, the uh, artists that primarily uh, um, worked with them to kind of create the game would be uh, Linear Sturti and Renee Gladman. I believe this was actually part of like a residency or a, or, a, or a, like a... Um, a, a uh, something along those lines. Um, I don't remember the the exact terminology that was used, but this was essentially like part of like a fellowship or a, res a residency or something uh, that uh, that Possible Worlds Games actually organized in Pittsburgh. Um, that being Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, for those of you who don't know. Um, and then also uh, the the art for the dominoes was uh, contributed by uh, a Hino Kodo. Uh, so yes, those are all, so all of this is combined together, uh, to create our game. So basically what this is, is a, uh, it's described as being a caravan style RPG, uh, TTRPG. Uh, and again, this was, uh, uh, you know, funded on, uh, Kickstarter, uh, back in February. Um, basically each of the players are controlling a group of people inside of a caravan that... Uh, for for reasons I admittedly at this stage don't know because I haven't actually looked too deeply into it, 2,348 people. Um, so basically, you are controlling anywhere between eight, a 10 and 600 of those people. Um, so basically, you all as a group are deciding this is this is like a basically like a GM-less game, I believe. Uh, and basically, you are all sort of deciding uh, what is kind of holding the group together, uh, what you're running away, what you're fleeing from. So basically, this is a caravan where you're like fleeing from one land to go to another. Um, and what you're searching for in the process of, of your travel. Um, so yeah, basically you have these dominoes. Everybody gets a hand of the dominoes at the start of each section of the journey. Uh, and you play them uh, to create the path, uh, which again, sometimes will go towards good things or sometimes trying to avoid bad things. Um, and so, yeah, the numbers on the dominoes will then determine exactly what the caravan discovers. Uh, and the active player will dictate exactly what all, how all the encounters go and in individual. And then, of course, each of the players will dictate their individual group's reactions to each of the things that they run into. Uh, when you run out, then you've reached a door. Uh, and then... So you determine and work to the players will determine to work together to figure out how to unlock the door and continue moving on. Um, however, your group may decide to uh, settle down in an area instead of moving forward, or you know, particular groups may may decide to uh, to do different things. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and oh yeah, for anybody who isn't familiar with uh, Tyler Crumney and their uh, come Ryan in there and their possible worlds label. These these are also the same. This is the same label that also created Beak Feather and Bone, which is also a cooperative sort of. That one is a map labeling RPG. Everyone is again is controlling a group and you're coloring in different sections on a map uh, to determine exactly who controls which sections. So essentially, you're creating the sort of factional or political breakdown 
of a break a breakdown of 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 a city that you have mapped out. Um, so yeah. Uh, anyway, going back to this, let's go ahead and I've already shown a little bit about the dominoes. Uh, so again, these are paper dominoes. You can see, uh, well, you might not be able to see, but like there's like numbers uh, on a bunch of these. And each symbol apparently stands for a number. Uh, or at least it looks like to me. Yeah, we've got these sort of coins with a circle in the middle that represents four. The eyes are two. The leaf, the the vine with the leaves is three, uh, and we have uh, apparently like a, a white color and a dark color version of each of them. Uh, we have uh, six is stars, so we have filled in black stars, or the you can see the sort of like the more pentagram style stars there. Uh, five is shells, so we have double like dark shells and white shells. Um, and wine is not on this page. Ah, and one is uh, a key, and zero is a keyhole, uh, just like. We have here. Then this is a good sturdy, thick cardstock. Um, I would definitely, if you're going to play this game a lot, I would probably uh, make copies of these. Um, that would definitely help uh, with for the durability and stuff like that. Or maybe cut these out and like attach them to a, th a thicker, harder cardstock, um, or or like laminate them. That would also be uh, potentially an option uh, to help with durability. Uh, but still, it's it's good. It's a it's a good obvious obvious um, design for that there, uh, and and yeah, if you did get the physical version of this uh, when they were printing it, do you get the uh, the PDF of everything as well? So there's there's so uh, the PDF, or if you're just buying the PDF version online, uh, now that obviously the Kickstarter is over, um, then you're getting a PDF of the manual and also a printing cut domino sheet. So again, no matter what version you get, you should have, uh, you should, you should, you should need to like photocopy this. There should be a PDF that has these uh, dominoes on them. So especially also like if you need to print them out bigger, because the numbers, the little number clues are are very very small. So let's go ahead and open up the manual. Uh, again, uh, our cover is made out of this a very similar sort of cards. It's maybe a slightly lighter cardstock than the actual dominoes themselves, uh, as is this sort of title sheet, uh, which again describes a bit about it. You know, it's a domino-based storytelling game for two to seven. Cut out domino sheets and rules for solo play are included, so you can play this by yourself. Uh, and then, of course, we have our title our, and our authors and stuff. So opening this up, here we have our title on the inside, which is an interesting uh, design. And here we have the door. I'm ass assuming this is supposed to be symbolizing the door that they mentioned. Uh, the actual pages on the inside, this feels like it's probably like 28 or uh, 32 weight paper. Um, so, but again, still good, high quality. Uh, and we do have at least partial color. Um, so here we have just sort of describing the fiction uh, basics of what this is. Um, so again, this is essentially both a game, but also speculative fiction. Um, so again, it says here over the course of 2022, uh, Sturty and Gladman took turns exchanging pieces of art and writing inspired by each other's work. In 2023, Crumb Nine, uh, Crumb Rhine used this work to create a brand new storytelling game which is this. So this is based off of uh, Sturty and Gladman's art and speculative fiction. Um, so yeah, it's set up for uh, 2 to 7 players. Uh, at least one hour uh, should be taken to play. Um, do, 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 do. And of course, here we're starting to describe the caravan. Right, so here it says here, uh, we've all heard of the caravan, 2,000 strong, they're diverse in their needs and desires, but unified in two core beliefs. One, there is safety in numbers, and two, a better future is possible. So it says here, uh, anyone is welcome to join the caravan, and the city is their latest stop, and your city is their latest stop. You've decided to join them, but who are you and where? Uh, so again, we start describing... Um, you know, uh, using you can here's your rules dominoes to describe uh, you know the starting city, uh, your city's name, 
uh, you know, the basics of the setting. So we have alternative history, science fantasy, post-apocalyptic. So you can have a Mad Max sort of version of this, dystopia, uh, steampunk, stuff like that. Um, and then, of course, we uh, each of the players will then create their own community uh, using a die to determine uh, the size of it. So here we have rules on what you're supposed to be like rolling and or, or how you're supposed to determine uh, interpret this to determine the size, um, the identity of it, why you're choosing to leave the city, and so on. And here we have uh, a chart that helps you describe exactly who these people are. So, and of course we have doubles in the, low, in the line there and then the, everybody else moving out. So if one side is a zero and the other side is a four, our group is made up of officials who've decided to leave the city. And so we continue to describe, we have some fiction here, uh, more art. Uh, and then of course we start describing how many dominoes each hand should have, depending on how many players you're working with, uh, keywords, uh, at the start of the round that sort of fuel how things are going um, and then interpret on a scale and stuff like that okay I'm assuming key so yeah it says here keywords can be anything you like but adjectives tend to work best and here are some uh, randomized ones if you can't decide what you want uh, and then of course we start forming our path so it says here, uh, valid plays from your hand would include, but are not limited to, basically one up, one equal, or one below what was just played before. And then you continue to make the chain. You can, so it says here, if the, ch if the chain and its link are the same number, your sequence continues in a straight line. If it's one higher than the link, then you play your domino sideways, and the subsequent link extends to the left Okay, so it says here, the caravan is diverted its course to travel towards something good. Uh, this could be a beautiful site, a useful resource, a safe haven, or anything like that. And then, of course, if you play down, then you're going down. This means that you're diverting in order to try to avoid something bad. Uh, this might be a predator, security checkpoint, obstacle, or anything else you can think of. And, of course, we have more fiction to kind of help describe this. Um... And again, we continue with this very, very nice art. Oh, uh, and here we have some a table for randomized events, arrivals and departures. So and we have more settlements that we can encounter where those people would be coming from. Ending the game. After a few rounds, you'll find that the caravan's numbers are starting to dwindle. Population dominoes may even start to eclipse the caravan itself. For example, a 600-person group being drawn when there's only 78 people remaining in the caravan total. In cases like this, maintain the mechanics of the game, but abstract its fiction. Maybe your group had 600 members once, but at one point in your journey, this group actually has become much smaller and so on and so forth so it's actually it says here keep in mind the caravan does not have to dissolve at the area your game to end if your game reaches a satisfying conclusion you can close the book on your group's stories while the caravan continues onward perhaps forever uh and then of course it describes here what might happen on the final turn and here are the rules for solo play here are the rules for team play so you might have if you're playing if you're playing this as a group and you have more than eight people in your group maybe uh, or if you want to play as a group of eight, but like in pairs, uh, here's a rule for that. Here we have rules for online play uh, using random sequence generators to determine exactly what the dominoes are. Or you could do this if you don't have dominoes. Uh, so basically it says here, basically you use a random number generator, create any random number between one and, eight, one and 28, um, and then assign those and play them out as you go. Uh, and here we have a, a excerpts from a play as an example um, and more fiction and then of course uh, so here on the back we've got some basics of the uh, a, a basic blurb for the three uh, creators um, basics about the domino sheet and some other things that are included and yeah there we go so that was pretty much everything that was contained within the details of our escape. Uh, in order to make sure that this game, uh, each of the games really gets its, or, or resources that we're going to be taking a look at, uh, really gets its own, gets a good feel, 
uh, for what we're taking a look at. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be doing uh, a separate video for each of these creations. Um, and and just basically have the same introduction. <laughs> um, and I'll be posting all three of them at roughly like maybe spaced out like every couple of days uh, over the course of a week uh, so that you guys don't get super saturated but I still get these out and you can take a look at them uh, and I can move on to creating other things uh, for next week so uh, thank you all for joining us uh, again here on Hessens County don't forget to like subscribe and all that jazz especially if you want to take a look at more games like this um, or uh, you know things that I've created or various stuff like that so thank you again thank you all for joining us again here today uh, don't forget to rate your itch purchases, have a good zone, and I will see you in a couple days.